I'm, I'm just going to come up here. I want to tell you two quick stories, and then I'm, I'm going to be on my way. The first story, right, is um, how I got arrested when I was 14 years old. Uh, has anyone here ever been arrested before? Yeah, a few people. <laughs> Not many people want to say it. Uh, look, if, did you say you've been arrested? No. Who was the person that said they've, they've been arrested? Where was that? Yeah, there he is. Like, <laughs> I'm going to ask you what you got arrested for, but if you don't want to tell us, don't, don't tell us, right? Because I remember one time I asked the guy, like, you ever been arrested? He was like, yeah. I was like, what for? He was like, murder. I was like, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's your name, sir? Reese. Reese, what did you get arrested for, if you, if you want to tell us? <laughs> was, I just want to ask this quick question. Was, was, was you a student? Like, <laughs> that's, that, that's one of his students, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got arrested when I was 14, Reese. This is what happened, right? I was in a park with a bunch of my friends. There were boys and girls, right? And the only reason I tell you there were boys and girls is because back then, that's the only two genders we had, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> and you can't cancel me for that, that's a fact, you know what I mean? Like, in 2009, genders were like socks, they came in pairs, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> anyway, we're in the park, we're having a great time. In the middle of having a great time, an argument breaks out. In the middle of the argument, this white girl says to me, Kazim, why don't you just go back to where you come from, right? And I thought, ooh, I don't know, you know, oh, Lewisham's kind of rough, you know what I mean? It's, that's why I left, man, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to go back. And then I realized she was being racist, and I, and I just reacted. I was 14 years old, just impulse. I, did, I wasn't going to hit her, so I did the next best thing I could think of. I just, I just, I, I just spat in her face, right? I, I did, and it wasn't like a spit either. It was like a, like a, like a proper one, innit? Like, like my ancestors were helping me. Spit in her face, you know, like a proper... Good one. <laughs> she starts going crazy. She starts hitting me. I don't know why she was so mad. My friend was going out with her at the time, so I knew for a fact that that's not the worst thing that's ever been on her face. You know what I mean? It's her friends pull her off, man. And like, I'm still annoyed that, that, that she racially abused me, right? And I'm just thinking about the way I spat. I still remember the way it came out. It was green. Yeah. It span in the air. Hit her right on the forehead, great shot. Should have been on match of the day, you know what I mean? Fucking <laughs> phenomenal stuff. And I was still annoyed that she racially abused me, so I took out a two pound coin from my pocket and I threw it at her head, yeah? <laughs> and I know like, a lot of ladies looking at me like, you scumbag, how could you? I'm not a bad guy, right? My mum raised me the right way she did. She let me know from an early age, Kazim, whatever you do, whatever you do, never, ever, fucking waste money, right? That's what my, <laughs> what my mum told me. But luckily, the two pound coin missed and me and my friends, we went to a McDonald's. We're chilling in the McDonald's and then we decide to leave. As we leave, a police car pulls up, says, can you guys wait there? So we did. Police come right up to me, realizing I'm the guy they're looking for because that girl's dad had called the police on me, right? So they start reading me my rights and putting the handcuffs on me. And then they walk me to the police car. Now, when my friends see me in handcuffs walking to the police car, my friends start getting hyped, innit? They're like, free Kazim! Free Kazim! <laughs> I start getting gassed too. I'm like, done? No, fuck the feds! <laughs> and then I get into the police car and I burst into tears, yeah? There's three arresting officers, right? There's a, there's a short female white officer. There's a tall mixed race male officer that would only refer to himself as the sheriff, right? That's <laughs> all he would call himself, right? And then there was like a medium height, medium build African officer. And the, the sheriff, he was, he was onto me, right? Imagine, imagine you're me, right? And I'm the sheriff. This is how he was shouting at me. He was like, I know you did it. I know you, you're a fucking liar. And I was just like you when I was your age, and I'm the sheriff, so do you know what that makes you? And I was like, the deputy! <laughs> he was like, no, right? And they, they take me into the cell, and, 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 and they go to get my nan, because my nan's looking after me whilst my mum's on holiday. So my nan gets to the station, and they take me in the interview room, and they interview me. I leave the interview room and I get charged at the front desk and the police officer behind the desk says, Kazim, I'm charging you with common assault. And I heard that, I was like, common assault? Like, <laughs> if it's that common, then you guys aren't doing a very good job, you know what I mean? It's, 
next time I come back here, that better be rare assault, you know what I mean? <laughs> Step your game up, guys, right? We leave the police station and I start to get really anxious because my mum's coming home from holiday the next day and she's a very strict woman, so all night getting anxious. I go to bed anxious, wake up in the morning anxious. Her taxi pulls up, I'm sweating, right? She gets out of the taxi and just as I suspected, she starts going off on one. She's like, ah ah, Kazim, you went outside and got arrested. You spat in someone's face and now you have a criminal record. I'm going to send you back to Nigeria, yeah? And that's when I knew my mum was really angry with me, right? Because my mum doesn't have an accent, yeah? <laughs> She's from South East London, born and raised. That just came out of her. I'd never heard that before in my life. Never. It just came out. And then I started listening to what she said to me. My mum said to me, I'm going to send you back to Nigeria. My mum said to me, I'm going to send you back to where you come from, right? And when I heard her say that, I looked at her and I spat in her face. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I got arrested, man. So.